What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here, back with another episode, man. And fam, you, extremely active in the transfer portal, lands another giant addition in former Troy and Louisville offensive lineman Tariq Bateman announced his transfer to the to the Rattlers today in a huge pickup for the offensive line. Fam, you lost multiple top contributors, Keenan Forbes, uh, Keenan Forbes, Jay Jackson Williams, a few other pieces. They landed a bunch in their signing class. We'll cover them in a minute, but Tariq Bateman offers immediate size at that tackle spot, which is going to be needed as this offensive line looks to start a new a new era after a bunch of their top contributors left. But when you look at Tariq Bateman, the biggest thing is the size, man. 6'8", over 300 pounds with some athleticism as well. This guy is a mountain, has been a grown man since he left Gaston City in the state of Alabama uh, out of high school. But we got his highlights here, man. But looking at him, a consensus three-star recruit, a top 630 prospect in the country, a top 66 offensive tackle, a top 30 player in the state of Alabama. In, in I believe it was class of 2017, he committed to Louisville, held offers from Kentucky, Cincinnati, Arkansas State, Arizona State, Louisville, just to name a few. But this is a guy that was an anchor on that offensive line over there at Gaston City. He goes to Louisville, decides to go and take the JUCO route, goes to Fort Scott Community College, and coming out of JUCO was a top 75 player out of JUCO, a top 10 offensive tackle according to 247, and one of the top 20 players out of the state of Alabama. Held, had interest from Nebraska, held offers from Troy. Alabama State made a strong run at him out of the JUCO level, but he decides to take his talents to Troy, but now he's on the move once again to FAMU. And when you look at his highlights, of course, the number one thing is I've already mentioned his size. He just stands out on the screen because he's such a massive, a massive guy. And that's really, really big at the offensive tackle spot. You want those guys to be tall, big, strong, long with the long reach to get the to get their hands on those on those fast defensive ends coming off the edge and that's what he can do. And when you look at him, the number one thing he does so well as a big guy is get to the second level. His run blocking is really and truly, in my opinion, one of his biggest strengths. He does a great job, as you just saw, working his way to the second level. He's going to make sure the guard can reach that three tech, that defensive end, and then he's going to get to the linebacker. And when you look at the size difference, when he gets his hand on a linebacker, it's over. And in pass blocking, when he really gets his hands on a defender, he really, he really stomp, stommies them. There's, it's going to be very rare that he does not have the size and strength advantage one on one in the pass blocking game. The one thing is, these are his high school highlights. Of course, his games developed a bit more, but when you look at him, the pass blocking sometimes he just has to move his feet a little bit more. Sometimes I think he gets caught up and locked up on a defensive end when you don't move those feet. When you when you look at really athletic, persistent defensive ends, those can give him trouble but he handles them really well as you're going to see upcoming in the highlights but this is huge for the tackle spot man when you look at the offensive line class that FAMU has landed he joins Jalen Armstrong 6'4 310 out of Copia Lincoln Community College 19 games of experience at the JUCO level he joins Darian Whedon 6'3", 310, 14 games of experience at Cisco College at the JUCO level. Joins TJ uh, Dimas at the offensive line spot, 6'2", 290, out of Clearwater High School. Chose, chose FAMU over Cincinnati, uh, South Florida, Bucknell, and a few other places. Will McCollum on the offensive line, 6'5", 320, 12 games of experience at Copia Lincoln. And then on top of that, on National Signing Day, they also landed uh, Jalen Goss at the offensive line spot, 6'7", 270, three years at Florida State, played in 33 games, has some special teams action, but this was a deep signing class. And when you're looking at what Bateman can bring, I think you have a very good mix of guys who can play on the interior and guys that can play that um, tackle spot for FAMU. So I think this offensive line unit, they completely replenished it. When you look at the future with the Juco guys and the transfers and even some of the high school prospects I just mentioned, FAMU has a very bright future on the offensive line. The offensive staff does a great job of developing talent, too. You look at what they did with Jay Jackson, William, uh, Williams, Keenan, Forbes, and there's a reason why Bishop Bonnet and Terrell Jennings in that running game for FAMU last year had some huge games. It's because the offensive line was extremely aggressive, and they did a great job 
in terms of technique, run blocking, and and really fitting up that offensive line. The pass blocking as well, they allowed, the I believe, the least amount of sacks last year in the swag, and I don't see that stopping right now with FAMU as now they have landed Bateman as well in this class. But a giant guy, former three-star, one of the most highly recruited offensive linemen out of the state of Alabama in this class, really didn't find his place at Troy and or Louisville. I think FAMU is the perfect landing spot. He's been very vocal that he was looking for an HBCU to, to take his talents to and really finish his career and find – um and find his place. You look at someone even like a Calvin Ashley who came from Auburn, highly touted guy, really couldn't find his role at the P5 level, came to FAMU and had a very good career. So I think Bateman coming in is going to compete for one of those tackle spots. And over these next few seasons, I really do think he can be one of the staples on that FAMU offensive line. He's going to play at either the left or right tackle spot. For me, I'm, I'm not sure where, where he really fits right now. He can play either one, in my opinion, and he has a history of playing either one. So we're really going to see how FAMU utilizes his talent. But a giant addition here, man, 6'8", over 300 pounds, Tariq Bateman announces his transfer to FAMU, man. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and comment your thoughts on Bateman joining this loaded FAMU offensive line classes. Willie Simmons and this staff has done an excellent job replacing some of that top talent that they lost on the offensive line uh, unit for FAMU, man. But, guys, hope you guys had a great weekend. We'll be back this week with some interviews. Um, a big announcement coming this week on Twitter, man. Make sure to check out our website, thebluebloodspod.com, for all our All-American teams all conference teams with some and for some more recruiting updates from across the fcs man but for myself and the blue bloods guys we are out for right now